has been set by the UN that we should halve the number of deaths and injuries on roads by 2030. And clearly that uh, is only going to be possible through transport management techniques, automotive radar, autonomous vehicles, etc. We need to concentrate on uh, autonomous car, on the future, on a connected uh, car, but we also need uh, to make sure that other uh, safety measures like uh, electronic stability uh, control are implemented on all the cars on different markets all around the world. The collaboration between the ICT sector and the automotive se uh, sector has, has increased considerably and I believe that this event has, has helped to, um, to improve that collaboration. For all of us in the industry, there's enormous work to do and uh, we, need, we need to be connected, we need networks and I think because we're a global company, uh, we need to have this connection all over the world. So obviously for us to have standards that we can apply uh, will help accelerate uh, this transformation. Future communication between connected cars and also infrastructure. 5G will bring us an uh, additional bunch of new technologies which will even enhance and increase the functionality of uh, our cellular networks. That's uh, low latency compute, mobile edge computing, that is direct communication between the cars and the car and the infrastructure, traffic infrastructure like uh, traffic lights. Uh, that's various uh, functionalities around quality of service and network slicing so that we can make sure that uh, safety related services in the car get uh, priority. A great opportunity to actually deploy their network, uh, whether it is 3G, 4G and tomorrow 5G, and to have a, a usage which will be much higher than what it is today because uh, vehicles are going to use a huge amount of data. Worth the fine two or three years ago needs to be updated to meet the current technology and, and the applications that will be developed for the production vehicles. In 1979 we ran our first connected car, it had a 64k uh, storage device on it and took 20 minutes to download a lap of data, but the car was connected. Uh, today we have more than 300 uh, sensors, a thousand channels and generate sort of 60 to 80 gigabytes of data for a car over the weekend. But for us it allows us to make decisions and I think that's a really key and important thing in this. Is Data is easy to get now, you can get data on anything, but the question is really what do you want to do with that data? At the core of all of this uh, is a proposition that people I think are just coming to grips with, which is the idea that the car is essentially a browser. So just as Google is reaping about a hundred billion dollars in revenue from your online search activity, uh, your driving activity is the equivalent of on-road search, okay? Everything you do in your car is an indication of intention and that's really valuable information. And so the car companies are just coming to grips with this. We do have security concerns, we have privacy concerns, certainly those are issues we'll be talking about here today and uh, I, I think we're making progress. And things look safe, let go. It's as simple as that. Autonomous cars exist today, you can see, you can see them, they drive around. Uh, Robo Race is a good example of uh, somebody demonstrating a racing car that's autonomous. However, no, what the big challenge I think is actually how you integrate an autonomous car into a mixed environment. You know, if they're all autonomous cars in a zone city centre, they can interact today. How you make them interact with normal road users and those 14 years worth of legacy cars is a big challenge. Uh, this world is too complicated. Uh, for any one automaker to do, do it alone. So we really need to pay special attention to uh, strategic technical partnerships. You don't see the hype that we used to see. You actually just see connected in the vehicles. And we've moved actually from this is coming to it is here.
vehicle uh, companies. They have to utilize this data, sharing the data as much as possible to facilitate of this vehicle operations and also a very safe, uh, safe way of these transportations.